Hi, it's Kithin Lebates here and video two in a series on invention, innovation and blockchain. And it's probably worth catching up with the first one if you haven't already seen it because I refer to quite a few things that I mentioned in the previous one there. There's a certain amount of assumed knowledge. So uh, on this one, I want to have a quick, very, very brief uh, overview of existing models for taking an invention to market and using it to innovate in the tech world. And I'm focusing on invention and innovation in software in particular here, software and possibly hardware. So uh, the oldest form of doing this was basically to produce a software program, put it on a floppy disk, put it in a box and ship it off to shops where people can buy it and take it home and install it on their computer. And that kind of sticks with a lot of us old timers because it's sort of the most familiar model. When you're a, a programmer of, over a certain age, there's always this gut feeling that that's how programs should be monetized. But of course, we've moved on since then with things like software as a service, where instead you run your program on a server and then you charge people a subscription in order to be able to use it. And this is even developing further. You don't actually have to have a monolithic piece of software because of networking. Your software can communicate with other software and uh, draw different parts in. And then you end up with things like microservices. Now, another approach is to open source it. So you allow everybody free access effectively to your amazing software invention. And then you can take a number of different strategies to monetize that. One is you build up a reputation as the leader in the field of that software because you're the architect behind it all. And then you can start charging consultancy fees and hopefully people will be the path to your door in order to gain your wisdom and insight because you're the, the go-to person on that particular product. So there's another approach. Now, of course, if you are fundamentally an inventor, all of these things are problematic because you probably don't have the experience in order to know how to market this, how to get the story out there, and uh, simple things like how you're going to price it, what will the market bear in terms of pricing, things like that. These things are all very, very tricky. And when you start off as an entrepreneur without much business knowledge, um, it's a really steep learning curve. And it's one that I, I'm still climbing, to be honest. So another approach is to use the patent system, which is a very old system, unfortunately a very expensive system. And the idea there is that you effectively, on the one sense, open source your invention. You make the way that it works publicly available to everyone. And in return for that, the state that sponsors the patent system uh, will give you an exclusive license to either stop other people from using your invention if you don't want them to or for you to be able to license sub license out that license to other people and make hopefully a profit off that and that means that you no longer need to set up a business um, in order to turn your invention into an innovation uh, now you can let other people do that it's like a franchise in a way um, the downsides of the uh, patent system is that it is, is extremely expensive and suing infringers is very, very difficult and you have no guarantee that you're actually going to win at the end. Despite jumping through all the hoops to get a patent issued to you, uh, when it comes to an infringement case, they look at it at a case by case basis. It's very expensive, involves a lot of lawyers and at the end of it, you may find that you lose the case and you've blown a lot of money and not had anything in return. So a bit of a risky strategy, but it is another approach. Now, this then leads us on to the idea of could blockchain help inventors be able to profit from their inventions without having to become businessmen or businesswomen and building a uh, corporation or company around their invention and having to get involved in all that awkward marketing and sales stuff. So uh, that's what is going to be the topic of the next video. See you in that one soon. Bye for now.